Had a little lesson today in TR6 engine installation and alignment. We had a TR6 on the shop being restored. At the factory, actually welded that bracket on crooked. You can see it, factory welding. And we were very concerned about that, why that bracket was crooked. And we were trying to figure out what to do when then I decided to look a little bit closer into the whole engine mounting situation here, six wise. See, you've got a nice big gap there between the pulley and the steering rack. Quite often, that gap is non existent and you can't get the belt on and off. But look at this gap, it's huge. You can get the belt on and off. Now, one thing that Triumph did in their wisdom to compensate for variations of production is they slotted these holes out for the motor mountings on the bracket. You can see the end of the slot there. So what you do with that is watch the engine being twisted and watch the gap change. Go ahead and twist the engine. Look at, hold it right there. Look at how crooked the pulley is to the rack. Well, that puts the whole alignment of the transmission and everything suspect. Okay? So, and if you actually push the whole engine forward, both sides, look what happens. Now, you've got the very common TR6 problem of you can't get the belt off the pulley because the steering rack's in the way. So, bottom line is you're going to install an engine and tranny into a TR6. You leave these nuts loose, the ones on the mount. You leave them loose, and then you let the engine center itself. Go ahead and center that engine and push it back so you have a nice gap for the belt. Okay? And then, and then once you're sure that the engine and transmission are in there, perfectly straight with no stress on any of the mounts, then you can tighten your bolts down, you'll have a nice gap to get your belt on and off. It might not be that wide because you have to take into account the length of the transmission as well. The transmission is also on slots for the cross number, you can see them. So all these slots are there to compensate for a hand-built car, basically. And this is uh, something we're just discovering here at the top, and we'd like to share the information with everybody else. And this is my assistant, Morgan. He's helped with the whole process of putting the engine in and checking this thing out for me. And uh, I want to thank him, and we're off to the races.